Windows 10 has a huge number of features, which continues to grow larger with each new update from Microsoft. Coming up, I'll go over the useful features that you should be using to enhance your overall experience with Windows 10. This will include a few well-known features, along with ones that you may have overlooked, forgotten about, or did not know existed. Let's get started. Let's start out with Disk Cleanup. Most of you should be familiar with this one. It's an older utility that helps to clear out the files taking up space on your system that you don't need. If you've never used it or forgot where to find it, go to the taskbar search box and type Disk Cleanup. Select it. Choose which drive that you want to clean up. In this case, the C drive is my primary drive, so I'll pick that one. Click on OK. Now go through the entries and tick the boxes next to the file types. I usually tick them all. Now click on OK to begin the cleanup process. It will ask you if you're sure that you want to delete these files. Click on Delete Files to continue. And that's all there is to it. You just have to wait for it to finish. Windows 10 offers native support for PDF exports, which is very useful for Office products like Word. In your printer settings in Word, when you go to select your printer, you will find Microsoft Print a PDF in the list. This feature is not exclusive to Office products. It can be used in any program running Windows 10 where you have the option to print. For example, here in the Chrome browser, go to the Settings menu in the upper right and select Print. Here in the left pane where it says Change, click on it and select Microsoft Print to PDF. Back in the left pane, clicking on Print will save that file to your computer. Just like Android and iOS devices, you can use Cortana on your PC to control your smart home devices. This one's tricky to find. In the search bar, type Cortana Notebook. Click on it. Make sure that you're in the Manage Skills tab. To add a smart home device, click into Connected Home. Toggle the option to turn on Connected Home. Then from here, just find your device from the list and follow the instructions to enable it. I currently have my Ecobee thermostat and Philips Hue lights connected. Here's a quick example on how to use it to change the temperature. Set the thermostat to 84 degrees. All right, I'm changing the temp to 84 degrees. Sticky notes are a handy feature that's been around for years, which gives you the ability to create and place to-do lists on your screen to be better organized. I keep it pinned to the taskbar. Otherwise, to find it, go to your search bar and type sticky notes and select it. Clicking on settings, you have the option to sign in to sync your notes to the cloud to access from other computers. I have no use for this, so I don't sign in and this window is not needed to continue, so click on the X to close it out. Selecting the menu icon here at the top lets you change the color of your note. All that's left to do is to create your note. You can move the sticky note wherever you want it, and when you close it out, it's automatically saved to your computer. If you have a family member or friend that's not computer savvy, Windows has a remote assistance feature called Quick Assist that lets you take over their computer to help them out. In the search bar, type Quick Assist. Click on it. You have two choices here. If you're the one needing help, select Get Assistance. You'll need the six digit security code from the person helping you to continue. If you're the one offering help, click on Give Assistance. I can't show you this, but on the following screen, you'll receive the security code that you'll need to give the person needing help. If you're looking for a better audio experience while gaming using headphones on your PC, you will want to enable the Windows Sonic Surround Sound. To activate it in your system tray, right-click the sound icon. From the list, select Playback Devices. Find your speakers in the list and double-click. Select the Spatial Sound tab. From the drop-down box, pick Windows Sonic for headphones. You'll want to make sure that the box is ticked to turn on 7.1 Virtual Surround Sound. It's not a true surround sound experience, but it's an overall improvement to the default audio settings. 
Click on OK when you're done. Nightlight is an awesome feature that I've mentioned in past videos that more people should be using. It has a blue light filter that helps to reduce eye strain and can make you sleep better at night. To access it, left click the start menu in the lower left. Select the settings icon, then system. Below your displays, there's a toggle to turn nightlight on or off. Below that, click on nightlight settings. Here you can change the color temperature and create a schedule. If you suffer from eye issues, I'd even recommend turning on nightlight during the day, except for those times that you're doing graphic design work. Most of you are probably familiar with Plex or Kodi. Windows 10 also includes a built-in media streaming protocol called DLNA. You would just need a DLNA compatible device like a Roku or Xbox One to stream it to. To activate it, do a search for media streaming in the taskbar. Click on Media Streaming Options. Then select Turn On Media Streaming. Make sure the boxes next to Allowed are checked. To set up DLNA on any of your other devices, you'll likely find the guide for your specific device online. If you're tired of typing, start dictating instead with Microsoft's speech recognition feature that is built into Windows 10. You will want to make sure that it's enabled by left clicking the Start menu. Go into Settings, select Time and Language, and then Speech. Scroll down the page and select Speech Inking and Typing Privacy Settings. If Speech Services and Typing Suggestions is turned off, turn it on. With it turned on, go into any text field and select the Windows key plus H on your keyboard to activate it. It works well if you're needing a break from typing or have any other issue that makes it difficult to type, period. An underutilized feature that has been useful in Windows for a long time is the System File Checker. It checks for any missing files the operating system needs to work properly and replaces those that need replacing. For this one, you'll need to use the command prompt. In the search bar, type CMD, right-click on Command Prompt, and select Run as Administrator. In the window, input SFC space forward slash scan now, then hit enter on your keyboard. It may take a while to complete. I've jumped forward here to the end. Hopefully when it finishes, it says Windows did not find any integrity violations. It also may say that it found corrupt files and repaired them. That's also good, but if it says it found corrupt files and was unable to fix some or all of them, you do have a few options to repair some or all of those files. I'll put the support page in the description if you need further help. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and share with others if it was useful for you. What Windows 10 feature do you think more people should be using? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when new videos release here on Tech Gumbo.